So who, which one of you was the first one to discover earthing? I'm gonna say it was Mary Ellis. She was born before me. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> She's got 18 months of bare feet on the ground before I even hit that the ground. That might be around. an insult. Yeah, we actually went to the, the the track when we first got together. We went over to Pepperdine University. She hadn't run since when? A long time. Yeah. And she's, I do yoga. And I was like, well, we need to go to the track. We went to the track and we ran barefoot in the grass for a couple of hours. She loved it. That was for fun. That was for fun? Yeah, we didn't even talk about grounding. It's just something that you do. So we get up, we watch sunrises, and then we usually go out for a hike. I remember the first time he was like, he stopped and he took his shoes, he didn't say anything, he took his shoes off. Like, what are you doing? And he just started walking and didn't do anything. And he also closed his eyes. That was a whole other terror. I came from a very dysfunctional home. You know, I loved my family tremendously, but there was a lot of mental illness. My grandfather being one of the greatest writers of the 20th century, he suffered tremendous mental health issues. And he also took his life in 1961, three months before I was born. I lost a great grandfather, two great grandfathers, another great uncle, an uncle, a cousin, and my own sister took, took her life. This house was filled with people that were tremendously tortured. A lot of yelling, there was a lot of drinking, there was a lot of self-medication, there was a lot of craziness that was happening. To sort of survive was, for me, getting out in nature, just any time I could be outside. And I'd find myself lying on the grass or lying in a field or lying in a meadow. That would make me feel better. And then it wasn't until I met Bobby that I realized that what I was instinctually doing actually was a very real way to address all kinds of inflammation. And inflammation isn't just physical. There is neuroinflammation. That's brain inflammation. Brain inflammation causes depression, causes all kinds of serious problems. This is a much bigger thing than just walking barefoot on the ground. This, this, this is helping, well, especially me, uh, helping me have a, a way more balanced life. My grandfather, you think of great artists, some of the greatest writing that they do comes from when they were at some beautiful and specific place and their description of it. That comes from an understanding, from a connection to it. To know that there are solutions and there are solutions in nature. And one of the biggest solutions is that connection to nature. And people forget that first. It's sad because it is so accessible and it is so real to know that a grounded me, Marielle, or a grounded you or anybody else is different than the one who's not connected. And that's what grounding does. It pulls you into you, to who you are.